Do traumatic experiences affect women's sexuality? What is the impact of unrealistic expectations from movies and TV shows on sexual life? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, traumatic experiences, such as sexual abuse or emotional trauma, can have a significant impact on women's sexuality. They can lead to issues like sexual dysfunction, post-traumatic stress disorder, and difficulties in sexual relationships. Unrealistic expectations from movies and TV shows can generate insecurities and unnecessary pressures in sexual life. These exaggerated representations affect self-esteem and emotional connection in relationships. Open communication is essential to cultivate a healthy sexual life. Recognizing that media representations do not always reflect reality. Exploration of sexuality. The text is not limited solely to sexual positions, but also addresses topics such as seduction, romance, eroticism, and physical attraction, fostering a deeper and more comprehensive understanding of human sexuality. Eye contact. Eye contact during foreplay can increase intimacy and emotional connection between partners, creating a sense of complicity and shared excitement. Female masturbation. Although historically taboo, female masturbation is a common and healthy practice that can help women explore their bodies and experience sexual pleasure. Feminist pornography. A feminist pornography movement has emerged, seeking to create content that represents female sexuality in a more realistic and empowered way, challenging established gender norms in the industry. Food fetishism. Some people experience sexual arousal by incorporating food into their sexual activities. This can include playing with food, using food during oral sex, or even participating in food play, where food is used in an erotic manner. In European countries like France and Spain, sexual education campaigns in media and social networks are conducted to raise awareness among young people about consent, respect, and prevention of sexual violence. In some African countries like Ghana and Nigeria, sex education programs have been introduced in schools focusing on HIV-AIDS prevention and other sexually transmitted diseases, as well as promoting healthy relationships and mutual respect. Guide to Self-Pleasure In addition to partner relationships, the Kama Sutra also offers advice and techniques for exploring self-pleasure and individual pleasure, which can help people improve their relationship with their own body and sexuality. Hair fetishism. Some people have a specific fetish for certain types of hair, whether long, short, curly, or straight. This fetish may include the desire to stroke, smell, or play with another person's hair during sexual activities. Historical stigma. Throughout history, female masturbation has often been stigmatized and considered shameful or inappropriate. However, it is increasingly recognized as a normal and healthy practice. Holistic approach. Addressing anorgasmia often requires a holistic approach that tackles both the physical and emotional psychological aspects of the individual. This may involve exploring the relationship dynamics, working on sexual communication, and reducing stress in everyday life. Impact on relationship. Anorgasmia can have a significant impact on the romantic relationship as it may lead to frustration, discomfort, and feelings of sexual dissatisfaction in both partners. Impact on self-esteem. Frequent pornography consumption can affect people's self-esteem by setting unrealistic standards of beauty and sexual performance, which can contribute to feelings of insecurity and body dissatisfaction. Importance of consent. Mutual and freely given consent is fundamental in any sexual activity. It's important for all parties involved to clearly and consciously give their consent before engaging in any sexual activity. Importance of foreplay. Foreplay, 
including kissing, caressing, and other forms of sexual stimulation before penetration, is crucial for increasing arousal and pleasure in both men and women. Improvement in emotional well-being. Masturbation can be an effective way to reduce anxiety, improve mood, and promote emotional well-being by releasing tension and increasing the sensation of pleasure. Increase in vulnerable populations. Groups such as men who have sex with men, sex workers, people who use intravenous drugs, and those without access to health care are more susceptible to contracting STDs due to social, economic, and behavioral factors. Influence in modern literature. The Kama Sutra has influenced modern literature, with authors incorporating its ideas and concepts into novels and essays about sexuality and human relationships. Influence of pornography. Excessive consumption of pornography can influence perceptions of sexuality and contribute to the onset of problems like premature ejaculation by setting unrealistic expectations about sexual performance. Inspiration in contemporary art. Contemporary artists have found inspiration in the Kama Sutra to create artworks that explore themes of sexuality, gender, identity, and human pleasure reflecting its ongoing relevance in contemporary art. Intimacy favoring positions. Some women prefer positions that promote greater intimacy and skin-to-skin -skin contact, such as full body embrace or the lotus position, allowing them to feel more emotionally connected with their partner. Kama Sutra in contemporary art. Contemporary artists use the Kama Sutra as inspiration to create provocative artworks that challenge social conventions and explore sexual diversity. Kama Sutra in Fashion Fashion designers have created collections inspired by the Kama Sutra, showcasing garments and accessories with motifs and symbols that evoke sexuality and eroticism. Key Communication Open and honest communication is crucial in open relationships. Couples must establish clear boundaries, discuss their needs and concerns, and maintain constant communication for the relationship to function. In some Latin American countries, sex education remains a taboo subject due to cultural and religious influences. However, there are growing movements to integrate it into school curricula as a way to address issues such as teenage pregnancy and sexually transmitted diseases. Long hair fetishism. This fetish involves a particular attraction to people with long hair, either real or as part of a wig. Luxury toys. There are luxury sex toys made with high quality materials, such as gold, silver, or even diamonds. These toys are designed for individuals seeking exclusive and luxurious experiences in their intimacy. Masturbation and emotional well-being. Masturbation can help women feel more confident, better understand their bodies, and develop a more positive relationship with their sexuality, contributing to emotional well-being. Masturbation and partner communication. Openly discussing masturbation with a partner can foster greater understanding, trust, and emotional connection in the relationship. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality,